Welcome to Wacky Wednesdays, where everyone has a chance to show off their car mods. And here's this week's winner. Rip up your Corvettes. This is my uh, pride and joy. I bought this in uh, June 2015, so four years ago. Uh, I was absolute luck that I got this car. I just wanted to get a Corvette, purely because they're a beautiful, timeless design. I was very lucky that I got the 85, because the 85 was the first tune port injected. The 1984 was a crossfire, and apparently they had some issues. So I missed the bullet there. Uh, the car had a few issues. Uh, so there's a lot of TLC maintenance that occurred over the two, three years. Early last year, 2018, a friend of mine uh, planted the seed of putting a 383 stroker in there. And I thought, what the heck, why not? So we gave it a go. We built a completely separate engine, all on the side while the stock engine stayed in the car running. And by the end of 2018, we dynoed it, it ran. The uh, paint is original. That's a 34 year old paint. And look at that, for 1985, look how stylish that shape is. Very timeless, even in 2019, gets a lot of head turns and competes with a lot of modern cars, both in looks and performance. Uh, so these cars really, I feel, are undervalued and uh, underdogs when it comes to uh, history of sports cars, particularly for the 80s. Uh, this decal is a bit of a sleeper. Uh, this car is actually 6.2 litres now, being a 3 at 3 stroker. There's the 93 saw blades, uh, about the only modification I've done to the uh, body. Uh, the pop-up lights rotate 160 degrees. The rear hatch has plenty of room, uh, whether it's groceries that you're into or golf clubs, plenty of room in the back, which uh, is quite convenient for a two-seat uh, sports car. I'm very lucky to have the red interior. Uh, most black Corvettes came gray or black. There's the 303 stroker with the new 90 the uh, LT airbox, got a massive k &N filter, open the uh, grill and definitely feel the uh, impact of it uh, with higher RPM, the airflow does feel a lot more uh, streamlined, there it is, there's the airbox, there's the pacemaker extractors, and there's the interior, all original, beautiful shape, look at that. 1985. Uh, there's the uh, manual uh, pedals, Dog Nash 4 plus 3 gearbox. A uh, pretty cool cluster, electrical, uh, allows you to switch between oil pressure to oil temperature, uh, coolant temperature to battery voltage in the top right hand corner. In the bottom, you've got the trip odometer and then the uh, range for the fuel. And the bottom right hand corner is the instant fuel. And the switch of a button, you can change between miles and kilometers. Well, I'm sure you want to hear it by now. I've done enough talking, so. Uh... so it's got the uh, pacemaker extractors, hooker mufflers, and stock central exhaust, which is the next upgrade. But as you can see, it's already very loud. The responsiveness is awesome on this car. Um, no matter what gear you're in, it's just got a lot of go. The new AFR heads and the uh, com cam. It's got power all the way up to six and a half RPM when the rev limiter kicks in. All right, here we go, about to go on the freeway ramp. Let it rumble for a bit. I do have a new clutch, so I'm not gonna go too crazy on the first and second. Yeah. 
just have their preferred model. When it comes to the Corvettes, I'm pretty sure all, C, all Corvette owners from C1 to C8 will agree that there's one cool feature about the C4 that no other Corvette has, and that's the bonnet. As you can see, the whole hood comes out with the fenders as well. Gives you great access and visibility to work on your tires, aluminium arms, suspension, steering. You can even step inside and reduce your stress on your lower back when you're going to work on the engine. Um, and it's all there. It's accessibility is very simple, easy to get to. And look at that. How many Corvette owners can do this? Beautiful view of the engine and all thanks to this bonnet design. For 1985, this car also has powered windows, mirrors, uh, digital dash, cruise control, uh, Bose radio, great surround. Also has the auxil auxiliary cable, so you can plug it into your uh, smartphone and play your music. And it even features a uh, safety airbag for the 80s. It's got your sponge <laughs> Corvette cushion. One of the very cool features in this car that makes it very unique is the fuel cap location. When you back at the service station, you don't need to worry which side the cap is on which is right in the middle. And the best part about it is that GM even provides a location for your cap. So you don't effectively wear paint uh, when you go to rest the cap. All right, what we have here is the uh, late 80s roller block. It's a four main uh, block with a 383 stroker. Obviously a 383 is a 400 crank and a 350 chev. Uh, powered by a 280 XFI comp cam. 195cc AFR heads and a TPIS mini ram and a Haltec ECU with a MAF delete. Um, also upgraded the intake to a 90s LT1, LT4 and LT5 airbox for a bigger surface area for greater flow and more streamlined flow into the uh, manifold making sure there's no compromise to uh, flow and uh, efficiency. Uh, this engine Output is 480 brake HP and 460 foot pound of torque, which for a natural aspirated engine and an 80s technology is quite impressive. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen, for today. Uh, before I conclude, I'd like to thank you again, Scotty Kilmer, the, for allowing me the opportunity to feature this car on your channel. I hope everyone enjoyed the content as much as I did uh, making this uh, video. Uh, anyone interested in this motor build, uh, I will leave a description below. Uh, it's hashtag Suave 85 Stroker build uh, on my Instagram channel. There's over two hours of uh, documentation uh, from buying the block to pretty much doing the swap and dynoing the engine. So uh, great content, uh, all done from this garage. Uh, if you are a motor enthusiast and looking to build your own engine, I uh, hope this can give you a bit of inspiration and hope uh, in doing it right. Thank you and goodbye. Well, that was this week's video and to have your car mod shown on my channel here, Check this out! So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell!